Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis with Venus, episode 9 with our series here. And I have gone ahead and unpaused the planet a little while ago, and I've just been working on a few things, but it's time uh, to continue pushing forward on what we need to get done. We'll actually go ahead and jump into here so we can refresh ourselves on where we were at. Mainly, you got to refresh me here. So the temperature continuing to decline. Pressure is continuing to decline. We're at 5.8 million right now. Still taking a lot of time. I've got two biofixture labs turned off right now, I'm guessing, or either that or something. And we've managed to stop the water and start lowering it a little bit. Vapor and atmosphere. Um, I think I've got another hab dome building, so that'll probably offset that. Let's take a look real quick and see. And we'll have to deal with that as well. I'll probably do this. Let's do this first. That'll deal with the cash issue. We could just build new silver mines if we need to. Probably where most of the money is going to be. So I don't think I found anything else. There might have been one more large deposit of something. Let me see if I can find it here in a second. Oh, what was that? Nice. Well, that's not bad at all. That's silver. thought there was like a large deposit of rhodium or something somewhere here. Oh, right there. Did this get like rebalanced? That's a, that's a lot. I don't think I've ever seen that much. Okay. All right. So now decreased pressure. Yes. That. Okay. Going back to our colonies. Let's take a look. We should have some hab domes in such building. Um, we've got this one here. Um, these are turned off because they're increasing oxygen if they're on. So I had turned them off. What's oxygen doing right now? It's still increasing. It needs to be decreasing. Um, I was building, and let me go look. This should have been the O2 area here, which I might rename this so I can remember. I thought that this would be a really good idea, so I'm going to name this uh, Oxygen. This would be a good way to keep track of where everything is. So these O2 filters, they need to be upgraded. So we can continue to get the oxygen level down. All right, and we've got a hab dome here, which also provides oxygen. And then the land, which is technically my negative water area. Those are producing oxygen as well. Huh, so that's why the oxygen's so high. So I'll have to deal with that. See, that's oxygen, space poor. Other than that, the populations are as good as they're gonna get. What about here though? Is there a hab dome here? There is, so we're just waiting for that to go up. And then upgrading the O2 filters. I'm actually gonna go ahead and build another O2 filter. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and build two more O2 filters because I think that's what's going to take to offset all of these things that produce oxygen because there's a lot of them. If you actually look, well, we're plus eight now instead of 18. So upgrading those and building the other ones will probably do it. But once I turn these two biofixture labs on, that's going to cancel that out. And then I'm still going to be building more hab domes, and that's going to cancel it out too. So it's kind of like this left and right going on here where we've got to kind of go back and forth and just kind of try to cancel these things out. How are we on victory points now? 60%? That's pretty good. We should be able to get there. Um, so if we've got more oxygen coming in, what does these produce? The bio fixtures are 15 oxygen. Yeah, so see, we got to cancel that 15 oxygen out. And you can only cancel out oxygen in groups of two. So this is 30 oxygen here. And if we turn the one of these on, it'll be 45, and we can't cancel the one oxygen because, like I said, you can only cancel them in groups of two. 
unless you have something else producing or subtracting like five oxygen, et cetera, et cetera. Because the biofixture lab is two and every time you upgrade, or I'm sorry, not the biofixture, the um, O2 filter is two. And every time you upgrade the O2 filter, it goes by groups of two. So it goes four, six, eight, 10. It doesn't go 13. So you can't actually cancel out 15. You're either gonna be subtracting 14 or subtracting 16. And you're either gonna be getting plus one or minus one. So it really sucks. So you've got to usually upgrade the O2 filters or you've got to have two biofixture labs so you get a nice round even number of 30 instead of this odd number. And you kind of go back and forth with that. If I upgrade the biofixture lab, is that, it's a plus five. It rounds it to 20 oxygen anyways. So we may upgrade these, we may not. What I'll end up doing once we lower the pressure all the way is I'll turn all these biofixture labs off and then I'll turn all the O2 filters off and then we'll have a nice balanced ecosystem because if I turn those off, then uh, that's why I like building O2 filters and mass building them instead of building like more carbon fixers. Because if you build carbon fixers, then guess what? What do carbon fixers do? We'll take a look real quick. And I hope you guys, anybody that's playing or, you know, isn't like a professional at the game is kind of learning some stuff from this. If you build carbon fixers, that's plus 10 pressure. So maybe it doesn't affect us as much because we're already lowering the pressure, but you'll have to balance out that pressure and it just turns into a mess. Um, so if you build a bunch of O2 filters, you could turn them off without any consequences because you don't have anything else running. We could actually, I, I see now that we could actually get away with it, building a carbon fixer because it is plus 10 pressure. So if we turn off the o, the uh, carbon filters or whatever the heck they are, damn, I keep forgetting the names. It's so tough sometimes to remember the names. If you turn off the biofixture labs, which are minus 60, then you could turn off the you'll have no problem turning off the carbon fixer because that's a pressure, they'll cancel each other out. So you turn it off, you'll, you'll cancel it all out. Then you might have to do a little bit of balancing, but it won't be a lot. So I could build another carbon fixer. I think we're plus eight right now though. So really why bother? Because by the time I build these two, that's two, four, six, eight. That's actually gonna be 10. That's gonna be 10, but I'm gonna turn the other two on. That'd be 30. So yes, actually building another carbon fixer would cancel out the other two uh, that I would turn on. So it's not a bad idea. So we're gonna build one more carbon fixer. So what I'm saying is that building that, it'll be plus 40, it'll be plus 40 total with all my O2. I know it's kinda hard sometimes to keep up. It'll cancel out. It'll cancel these other two biofixture labs out. These are gonna be plus 30. Plus I've already got plus eight. So I think it'll be like minus two for oxygen, which is fine, that's not an issue. I could turn off one of the O2 filters that I'm building. So minus two for oxygen. We need to drive drive the oxygen out, down anyways to try to get closer to the 210,000 goal. So that that's not too big of a deal. We've got a good a lot amount of money coming in. Um, not, not enough. Uh, the O2 is almost balanced. We just got to get it down to the 210,000. Uh, temperature is just lowering itself. I'm just going to let that keep going down because it's going to take so long for the pressure to go down that the temperature should balance out by the time the pressure reaches. By the time the pressure reaches 100,000, the temperature will definitely be 287. Um, if anything, let's see, retained by atmosphere 268. Um, we should be pretty good. Let me pull up a calculator here because I can't do simple math. Uh, so if we've got 590, 931 and we subtract what's trapped in the atmosphere, which is 268,131, we'll end up at, I'm gonna bring this on screen here, 322,800. Uh, that'll be really close to the goal. So I'll just end up building uh, probably a solar, sh uh, solar shade or whatever the heck it is uh, and just lower it the rest of the way. It's only gonna be about 30,000 or so um, that I'd have to lower it. Well, 30, yeah, that was pretty close. 35,800, that'd be the total I'd be lowering it. So not bad. So we, we can play with those numbers. We can make that work for us. Did we get the uh, satellite? I don't think so yet. What do we need for the space elevator? 
100 million credits. Uh, would you like to begin construction? Um, we have the credits. How much are we producing extra? Uh, 13,000. Uh, you know, I may... Ooh, boy, I'm thinking I want to hold off on the credit... Uh, on the space elevator. I think I might want to hold off. I don't know if I want to get rid of that cushion yet. I might wait till that's more like 200,000 something. Risky biz. How much do we have here? One day, three hours for all of these. So that's actually a pretty good amount of time. That's not too bad. The other one's going to be even more. Oop. Although I can't remember if I put three or four there. I believe it was three. I'm going to put one more. See if I can get uh, a Polydium since I'm having so much luck. Uh, doesn't seem to be any this doesn't seem to be any like real mind numbingly good spots um, Rhodium's got a cup. I mean, that's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad Yeah, that that I, I mean that's good Nice, so there should be a good amount of money coming in So I'll just let that take up for a while probably build the space elevator in the next episode uh, Once we get that there. Oh, we haven't selected a research uh, we won't need the heating cluster, but it doesn't hurt to have just in case I got to cancel something out. Same with the thermal dust. So I probably should start researching those. Uh, makes sense to do that. Minus 80 oxygen plus 20 water. I don't think we want to do that. And I don't think we want the ice launcher. Um, the automated nursery we got to get as well. All right, let's go ahead and get the heating cluster first. Uh, it's only going to take an hour, and then we'll get the thermal dust. Because, like I said, if you got to cancel something out, it's really important to have those. Because if you have to do some last-minute canceling, it could be a real pain. You know, if, if, say, like, we end up getting solar flares or something, we got to do some cool, uh, you know, or like some type of ice shelf. I don't know. All sorts of crazy stuff can happen that can screw you. So you got to be careful with that. And be prepared to counteract it if it happens. So, all right, we'll go ahead and leave it off here, though, for this episode. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.